and has a master's degree in design from IIT Delhi. He is also the co-founder of Example, an education-based software platform that went on to win the NASCOM award in 2019. A very warm welcome to you, Sean. Thanks, Shika. Yeah. So I think we can get started. <laughs> okay. So good evening, students, and uh, all of you all must be, uh, you know, eager, worried, tensed towards your UC. Uh, 2022 exam. So uh, hopefully this webinar will help you in certain ways in terms of some sort of strategy, uh, some ways to think about how to go about um, studying for UCED. And yes, of course, uh, UCED has um, two sides to it. Okay. It's not about studying hard. Yes, it is. Of course, you've got to study hard, but it is also about studying smart. Okay. So there's a big difference there. So studying hard, studying smart, having a good strategy. OK, so that's key. And that's what I'm going to try and cover in um, um, today's uh, webinar. And uh, you'll, I will I have a structure that I will go along the way. And when I ask you, you can ask me questions related to that uh, particular topic. OK, so um, what I'll be covering up covering today in today's webinar is um, important links and announcements. It's extremely important for you to know where to go get your links uh, and get the announcements and things like that. Um, the basic things participating in uh, institutes and uh, uh, result sharing institutes. And um, I will focus on the breakup, the pattern. Uh, and this is very important. Benchmark for last year's cutoff. It's extremely important to know um, let's say, for example, students last year, how much did they get to get a high rank? And how much did they get in Part A? How much did they get in Part B? Um, and it gives you a very good uh, sense of uh, what marks to look for. Because you see it is unlike any other exam, like say, for example, if the marks are out of 300, it does not mean that the first ranker is like 290 or 295. So that, that is not correct. Okay. So knowing uh, like say, for example, which marks you need to get approximately in which section is extremely important. So benchmark is a is an important section uh, you need to really understand. And of course, I will just go roughly through some examples of some types per section, but these examples are available on the net so you can easily get through them. A strategy, a basic strategy that you can start off with and um, then you can ask me questions of um, of 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 what of anything uh, that I've left out or missed out on or any any doubts that you have. OK, so let's go ahead and start. OK, so the first and the most uh, in between, I will also go to these uh, links so that you also understand, you also see. So the most obviously the most important link that you need to go to is uh, the UCED uh, official website link. OK, and uh, I've kept it ready out here. So in this official link, you will have specially important dates. OK, so you must keep all these important dates handy as well as the information brochure. So this information brochure is extremely important, has a lot of information in there. And uh, you must at least know where to find what information and you should be able to you should have gone through this information brochure. So it's a very good guide and it's, it is extremely helpful. OK. So also, besides this, there are announcements. So when you say announcements, when you go back to this, um, um, this uh, uh, website, so if you scroll down on the main page, there are announcements. OK, so it's extremely important to keep a watch on these announcements because very important things will be uh, put up here from time to time. So even some changes in the brochure or some updates in the brochure will be here. So very important. Uh, please go through that on a uh, regular basis. OK. So let's continue. And of course, you have your participating institutes. You are, you are lucky this year, those who are going for 2022, because IIT Delhi has just started off. So IIT Delhi has started off the BDES program this year for the first time. It was not there. So 
there were only three IITs last year and now you have four IITs. So tentatively in the news, it says that um, IIT Delhi will start off with 20 seats. So hopefully those number of seats will be um, increased later on. And I'm very happy that IIT Delhi is starting a BDES program because I did my master's from there. So I'm, I'm happy that it's it started off with its BDES program. A quick look at the seat matrix and the seat pattern. Um, it's out here with a total of 179 seats. So depending on the category that you are eligible for, you have uh, these amount of seats that uh, uh, you should that, that that you could get into. Okay, and also remember there is an overseas category for those students who have a, um, a non um, I mean a, a passport other than an Indian passport or an OCI or a person of Indian origin. Um, you can 10% of 10% of the total number of seats are, are reserved for you. So those are additional seats for uh, stu uh, students from who, who are from who are born outside. I would rather have a passport uh, other than an Indian passport. Okay. So now if you go to the website, you will see this participating institutes and result sharing institutes. Okay. So participating institutes, you don't have to do anything. You just answer the UC exam and you will get a, um, a seat based on your rank where there is no round two. Please remember, unlike, uh, unlike an NID, there is no round one and round two. It's just round one and you get your marks and that's it. Right? The, uh, according to that, you get your rank and there is a um, um, yeah, there is the you need to go and select your seat as per your counseling. Now, result sharing institutes, these are other institutes that take uh, UCED scores, and but it, you still have to, um, you still have to go and either answer, you still have to partic participate in their entrance exams. The only difference is some of them, um, when you go for entrance exams for other universities, they have different levels. So some of them exempt you from level one, level two, and you go directly to uh, you know, an interview or something like that. So it's just an exemption, but you have to apply individually and in some cases apply for their, uh, their individual uh, entrance exams as well. Okay, so it's, it's, only thing, it's only that the results are shared to these institutes and generally they exempt you from round one. Okay, so that is the difference between participating institutes and result sharing institutes. So um, I'm going to go straight. That was just a quick introduction, but now let's go a little more deep diving into the exam itself because um, um, starting off with the basics, uh, it is a total three hour paper, right? Which has part A and part B. Uh, part A is two and a half hours and part B is uh, half an hour, 30 minutes, okay? So even if you finish your part A early, you cannot start part B. You have to wait there and you have to, everybody starts part B at the same time, okay? So part A consists of um, three sections, right? One is your numerical answer type question. I will show you all examples, some basic examples. So basically you have to enter a number, an, uh, an answer, a, a, a numerical answer. Second is multiple select questions. So you have A, B, C, D. So it could be A and B is correct. A, B, D is correct, right? You have to select all the, uh, the multiple correct answers, okay? So if you, uh, if you get a partially correct, um, if you get a partially correct um, uh, answer, you get partial marks. If not, uh, uh, if you click select on a wrong, um, selection, you get minus one. Okay. And of course, the third um, section, multiple choice uh, section, which is, um, which has 32 questions in it. It's a regular, like your regular multiple choice for A, B, C, D, and only one of them will be the correct answer. Okay. And you have part B, which is sketching. So you have the uh, sketching uh, part of the uh, exam where it's a test for your drawing skills. So some of you might be very good in uh, your aptitude that is part A. Some of you may be very good in part B. Some of you may be good in both. 
Uh, obviously, it's really good if you're good in both. But I have seen students who have weak in drawing also got through with very less drawing marks. So that's what I'm going to discuss later on the uh, benchmarking section, right? To see, show you all other students' uh, marks, previous marks, as well as some students have scored very high in drawing and uh, you know slightly lesser marks in in part A and still got through. Now, when I say got through, I mean your rank should be at least uh, between 1 and 70, all India, okay? So, uh, because that's, and I'm talking about IIT Guwahati. Of course, with the, because of IIT Bombay, uh, sorry, IIT Delhi, uh, next year the seats will increase by another 20. So, you can say the cutoff will be about at least 80. It might go up to 80, okay? 80, all India, I'm talking for general category, okay? Other categories, it, uh, it varies, okay? So... Let's go into uh, let's go into the next slide. Okay, now there's an important point here. So if I just go back to the previous slide, so there's a part A and there's a part B. So obviously you're answering both, but unless you get the minimum cutoff marks for part A, your part B paper will not be corrected. Okay, so please keep that in mind. Uh, unless, uh, so so what is this uh, part A? It is defined in the brochure. If you go there, you can read. Uh, and But it's vary. it varies, okay? It, it, it depends on uh, uh, the marks for the students for that year and things like that. So it's not every year it is the same, right? It slightly varies. But to give you an understanding, last year, what was the cutoff? I have the last year's marks here. So this is when I say last year, my students who have answered it, the, yeah, this Jan 2021. So in part A, uh, open category of 68.35. That means 68.35 out of 240. So if, if it was less than this, then your part B will not be corrected. Okay, and you will get a... Um, you will not get, uh, uh, it will show as not qualified, okay? So only students who have got 68.35 and more, and of course, depending on the category, um, um, or the different categories also have different marks, but if unless you get more than these marks, only their part B paper would be corrected and they would get a final score, okay? So that's an important thing to see. So, so, Remember, it is 68.35 out of 240, okay? Now, there is no, a lot of students ask this, you know, is that can you go for re-evaluation? Can you go for retotaling? Um, there, there is no, it's clearly written there that there is no re-evaluation and retotaling for um, this, for this exam, okay? Okay. So, um, I will go through the benchmarking section, which I'm going to show you all now. Then I'll open it for one round of questions, okay, if anybody has. Um, and, uh, and, and then maybe we can go further, okay. So, what I have it on the screen is actual marks of students from the last year who have passed out last year, okay. I mean, not some of them, just to show you um, uh, what rank a student has got uh, as compared to what marks. It's, it's extremely important, I'll tell you why. Now, so if you see rank four, I mean, I'm just telling you students that I know, uh, I, I've, I've rather, rather sort of uh, verified these marks or whatever. So if you see rank four, rank four has, and let's talk purely about part A now, okay, not about part B. So part A rank four has got 153 and a half out of 240. Okay, now this is extremely important, why? Because recently um, I was talking to a student and the student got, was doing some mock papers and the student was very worried. The student said, oh, I'm getting only 130 out of 240. I, I, I think I should give up, right? I mean, that's a, that's a, when you see, in our nine, in your present students, you all are used to 90, 95, 96 percentile, right? Out of 100. Whereas um, um, uh, uh, one, 153 is almost some 63, 64 percent out of 240. So that means if, you, if you're even close to a 153, you're almost smashing the exam, okay? And to get a seat, like if you say rank 66, can you see the fourth row? Okay, rank 66. 
So the student has even got 112 out of 240. So even if you cross 112 provided you do well in your sketching, you still can get a, a seat, okay, in in an uh, IIT, uh, in one of the IITs, okay. I'm not talking about triple IIT Jabalpur because, at, uh, yeah, you can even go up to 120, 130, but I'm talking about the, 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 the uh, for qualifying for IITs. Now, why I'm showing you this is to get you a sense of scale, okay. So that means basically, if you answer a question paper today and, and you're somewhere around the 110 range, you're good. Okay, so to be confident about it and study hard and, and you can still, uh, you know, get uh, a good seat. Now let's have a look at the part B section, right? So part B section uh, is out of 60. Okay, so you can see rank four has got 47.7. Uh, Surprisingly, if you if you compare rank four and forty two, right? So rank forty two has got sixteen out of sixty, okay, but still is rank forty two because he got one fifty two in part A. So that's something for you to uh, think about and uh, analyze, right, for your strategy. Um, so so and um, and and if you go with the rank four, so rank four has got a forty eight, right? Uh, 48. So 48 has equaled rank, sorry, rank 66 in part B has almost equal, is equal or uh, rank part B, uh, rank 4 part B, but there's a difference in the part A marks, but still with under these conditions, right, uh, of marks, you can still get a seat. Okay. Now I've also shown rank 151 here because the student got 56 out of 60. Now why I'm showing that is because that's almost smashing the part B section. So that's just four marks short of full 60 on 60, okay? So there's a very key important thing out here. Let me go to the next slide. So I want you all to understand this uh, very, very carefully, okay? So in part A, assuming you've done like really well, okay? Say 153 or even 160 or whatever it may be. It's still 66% of 240, okay? I hope you understand that. 66% of 240 of part A section. Whereas part B, you can score a 56, uh, even up to a 56, which is 93% of 60 of the 60 marks. Or, or on an average, a lot of students I know have got 48, between 45 to 48 out of 60, which is 78%. So what I'm trying to say is, Part B is scoring, you know. So if your if your strength is good in um, drawing, make sure that you you smash your section here because that will tremendously pull up your marks and give you a good chance um, for um, for an, for your overall score. Okay, so that's something to think about. So let's just go back to the next slide. Okay, so what I've done is I've seen percentage of marks here. Uh, um, so if you see in rank four, so overall, I have a question. So overall uh, on chat, overall um, your part B marks is how much percentage of 300? Quickly, 60 is how much percentage of 300? Come on, chat in, uh, put in your type, type in there. 20%, yes, Sanat, correct, okay. 60 is 20% of 300, which means that your part B is 20% of the overall possible marks, theoretical. Whereas if you see in your in the final scores, like say for you see rank four, uh, sorry, row four, 66, her drawing marks is 30% of her overall marks. That means you how you can use drawing to your advantage. You understand what I'm saying? I hope you understand what I'm saying, okay? Okay, fine. Um, so at this part, before I go forward, I, I just wanted to show you some standard average, some standard benchmarks of marks. So before we go forward and, uh, uh, you know, do we want to take any questions now, Shika, at this point on what I've covered so far? Um, sure, uh, Sean. Or, or I'll, I'll go ahead. If you see any questions, you possibly you can ask me, okay? Yes, yes. So, uh, Swarnima Prasad has asked me, um, um, what is the 
these are the marks of the last year students that is correct okay some some of the students okay so wherever i kind of personally kind of know the marks that's that's what i've done hamid roshan what was the cut off marks for part a uh, it was 68.5 which i showed in the previous slides uh, wait i showed it out here hamid roshan this was the uh, slide that i had already covered 68.35 was your uh, cut off for uh, part b so okay this is an interesting question from puneet kaur so puneet kaur says uh, one minute uh, let me go up there but do i have a good chance at iit if my drawing is not so good yes that's exactly what i was explaining in benchmark strategy okay so puneet even if your drawing is not good i yes i did stress that drawing is extremely important but even if your drawing is not good you still can be below 70 ranks okay so uh, in fact not once i've seen this twice two years in a row okay so if you look here puneet if you see rank 42 right how much marks is rank 42 got it rank 16 right so um, um 16 out of 60 is is um, um uh, i mean the person is good in very good in drawing but just happened to they not get too much too good marks in that in that exam but but you must do very well in your part a part a so even if you do 152 in your part a you still can get into clearly you can get into iit in fact this happened last year as well last year i know a student who got 12 in their drawing right yeah, and still got into uh, iits in the part a because they did very well in uh, in uh, part a they still got into uh, they got 12 in part b and still but did very well in part a so they got in okay so i hope that answers your question okay mm. so apurva says i have 3 months to prepare what should be my strategy i will come to that we will cover strategy and um, uh, everything later okay fine okay so um mohit has said what is the mode of the test this year online offline well um up to last year everybody had to go to physical centers there was a small break in between so people went to physical centers once you sit in a physical center it's on a computer okay so it's online on a computer but i assume this year hopefully if there's no major third wave that happens uh, or you know there's no disruptions it should happen in a center but frankly that's anyone's guess but once you go to a center it's on a computer it's an online it's an online paper so your part a you completely do it online part b you have a piece of paper to draw but the question comes online okay so the question comes on your computer screen okay okay so um let's go ahead so um there's a question from harshal singh what should be my score to get into iit bombay slash delhi being in general category well iit delhi was not there last year but uh, iit bombay your rank should be around 22 okay your rank should be around 22 so if you see rank 42 is around 168 rank 4 is out around 200 i'm saying roughly around if you are 170 175 plus right you have a chance of getting into iit bombay yes now delhi will definitely be highly competitive less less year is it possible to ananya agarwal is it possible to score about 200 yes it is possible but uh, fyi only three or four people score above 200 okay fine uh, okay mihika sharma i could not understand your question maybe you can retype it i should have checked the rank 4 with 63% when 68% is the cut off for part a okay i didn't understand your question but um, i don't know if it's correct or incorrect but 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 Mm, that's the marks on the screen okay fine anyway let's go ahead before i take more questions so there's a lot more to cover and uh, i'll take uh, more and more relevant questions yes kubi kuber kuber please show some sample drawings i will show sample drawings in fact even the girl who got 56 out of 60 i will show her her rough drawing okay i mean she came back after the test and did a rough drawing so i will show that later on i do have some sample drawings to show as well okay 
Fine, let's continue. Um, let's continue, okay. So, strategy, okay. Let us check. Um, let us check on a basic strategy. Some of you have said I've got three months. Some of you all have started studying for a long time. Uh, even with uh, even with the time you have left, you still can do very well and uh, do well in the exam. Okay. So let's just have uh, let's let's go to the next section, which is uh, strategy. Okay. So the first thing you should do is, I've seen a lot of students, what they do is they wait, they say, let me study first and answer the question papers later. So what you do is you keep your question papers very safely. It's like, you know, your question papers are a, are a test to see how much you've studied. Okay. So a lot of key people keep the question papers for the end. I would say, um, before you start studying, or if you have not done that so far, the first thing, the first thing you must do is um, you must solve at least one UC paper, if not two, okay, or more, at least one before you start studying. This is not to check how good you are. This is not to check or oh, how how fantastic your marks is or uh, how it's got nothing to do with that. You have to go through the paper to understand the pattern of the paper, to understand the type of questions being asked, to understand the range, to understand the difficulty level of the questions asked, to understand what areas you find difficult and what areas uh, you, you find easy. In fact, before you start, please study the question paper itself. Okay, so you must do that before you um, start studying if you start studying and if you have not done a question paper you have no clue what you're doing okay you have no clue in fact the sources that you might be studying for may be wrong so you might end up wasting a lot of your precious time so you might study now and after two months you start looking at the question papers and then you realize oh god this is different you know i mean i'm not focusing on the right areas also you must know the pattern and mix of questions the weightage of questions so it's extremely important go through the papers okay like i said it's nothing to do with how much how good you are how bad you are it's it's about you understanding the question paper itself okay so keep solving like say for example from now you have three months every 15 days at least solve one uh, paper now this is very interesting okay solve both u seed and seed papers both okay now some of you all may get fully confused okay i have a question i have a question for you all Please reply in the chat. Is seed seed is for post graduation? Is seed papers relevant to y'all? Part A. Yes or no? Some are saying yes. Some are saying one or two said no. Yes, it is extremely important because remember, have a have a different mindset. This is more like an aptitude test and it, a solve. It is aptitude test and a testing your basics. Both the seed and you seed paper test your basics. So therefore. If you have this mindset that you stick to only UC papers, you have lost half of vital information out there, right? So solve UC papers and solve, and when I say seed papers, I mean the part A of seed papers, okay? Not the part B of seed papers. Part B is they have a design problem at a PG level and it'll be different like for industrial design or UI UX design or whatever it may be. Not part B, I'm talking about part A. So part A solve both you seed and seed papers okay It'll be extremely helpful you, and in fact um you seed papers have started only from 2015 whereas seed papers you'll get it from the official website and please you can just go to your official websites and get them they're all there okay uh, you can um get it even from 2000 for, i think they've started putting it up from 2011 or something you can get so many papers out there and it is so helpful okay um so solve all past you seed and seed papers. So that means you've got so many papers to solve. So literally you can, you have extra papers like for luxury, you know, you can, you can use them, right? Okay, and understand the syllabus very carefully from the online brochure. So like, let's say for example, if you go to the um, uh, online brochure, okay, so even out here, so examination syllabus, right? So you have your syllabus, part A, visualization, spatial ability, mental ability. So not only from here, even from the information brochure, 
you get syllabus okay please make sure that you go through the syllabus very carefully and understand uh, what is the syllabus as well okay uh, important okay okay now next important thing is before the exam just just before the exam i think well in advance they are going to release a, a mock online paper okay a mock paper for the interface uh, so that's why i said remember i said look out for the announcements so it is extremely important that uh, in the announcements you see uh, what what are the mock papers okay and um, you uh, you ensure that you go through the mock test. Now, why go through the mock test? It's because they have the interface, okay? They have the interface on where to click, how to click. Uh, for example, if you look to the right bottom side, right, right hand, so you'll have questions answered, not answered, marked, not visited, answered and marked for review. So many quest students, um, it's extremely important. You have got to go through this. You have to understand it. Full explanation. Okay. If you go now, it will not be there on the website, but after some time, they will activate it. Okay. Um, uh, so as soon as they activate it, make sure you go through it over and over again. So you have to get familiar with the interface. Don't go sit in the exam for the first time and try and understand what the interface is out there because you'll waste time. You'll waste very precious time. They're trying to figure out what it was. So answered green is that yes, you have answered it and uh, you have pressed submit. Not answered is you've not even, uh, uh, you've, you've checked it, you've, you've done nothing about it. Uh, not visited will be gray. Now there's a, there's a thing here marked and answered for marked for review. Just think of marked as flagged. Okay, flagged is you're just flagging that question. Okay, so flagging the question is you just said, okay, this is something I have a doubt uh, either you have a doubt or you have it's sort of easy. So you're flagging the question so that you can come back later to it. Okay. Um, so, so if you just flag the question and if you don't click an answer, sorry, if the time gets over, right, you will not get marks for that. Okay. Because you've not marked an answer. Whereas if you mark an answer and then flag it, and if the time goes by, you, it will still be considered for review. Okay. So please keep that in mind. So a lot of students get confused on that. So it's extremely important, go through this interface and not only that detailed explanation is given in the interface as to what all the buttons mean, make sure that you um, understand that very carefully before you um, go for uh, the exam, okay? Okay. Mm, yeah, now this is another strategy kind of varies from student to student. So, um, NAT and MCQ, some, a lot of, at least I've spoken to many students and many prefer, now within part A, you can jump to any section, okay? It's not that you're stuck on one section. So you have all the sections open there, NAT, MCQ, MSQ, I'm sorry. That's a mistake on the slide. It's MSQ. There was I okay here yeah. yeah so a lot of students prefer to do NAT and MCQ first because uh, uh, MSQ multiple select can be a little confusing okay because the same question has multiple answers so yes even though MCQ has negative marking still some students prefer to do that first because you know for a fact that there is only one question that is correct there right or numerical aptitude also you know. Many of them you can kind of count easily or calculate. It can be a, either a mathematical question, age related question, or you can uh, count easily and, you know, put it out there and um, it's something you can do much faster. So even I would highly recommend that try your level best and finish these sections first before you go to MSQ because you will tend to kind of um, spend uh, uh, more time on MSQ. Okay. So, and it might confuse you and throw you off track. So. Uh, but again, like I said, it depends from student to student, but a lot of students I've spoken to even after the exams, they've kind of, you know, followed the strategy and they found it quite comfortable. Okay. Now, part B, you have half an hour. Okay. Half an hour, you've got to be really quick. Half an hour gets over really fast. Okay. So you have to be very well practiced uh, uh, before 
think fast, you should be good in your perspective, you should be quickly be able to do thumbnail sketches and, and very fast, the more detail you throw in, the more shade, shadow, texture, light, and the more details that you throw in. Uh, like I said, let's look at some examples uh, of some um, later on. And uh, so the more details you throw in, it's, it's better. So you, speed, you have to work on speed. So when you cannot afford to sit and dream or think, or oh, should I do this and should I do that? You should, you should think fast. It comes with practice, okay? So practice is key for part B. And like I said, those who are good in sketching, it's your advantage, okay? Um, also, an overall strategy, you must remember, it's your attitude, okay? It is, it is a, it's a very different test. It's a very unique test. It's a very interesting, very beautiful test, okay? It is, I would say, an IQ test, a test of your basics, a test of your general knowledge. It is, it is, it's like somebody who has done, some, who, like last minute, if you try and prepare last 15, 20 days, it's really not going to be, uh, it's not really going to help you much. But over a period of time, whatever you've done and whatever you've, prepared or who you are will really be tested here. Now, here's an interesting thing. A lot of students will say, I didn't study anything. I just went for the exam, you see the exam and smashed it, okay? I've heard students saying that. I, I didn't study, I, I hardly studied and I went and smashed it. Now, it's not that they have hardly studied. If I talk a little deeper to these students, these students are already good in general knowledge. I mean, they have been reading all their lives. Right. I mean, it's they don't realize it, but they read a lot. They're already good in aptitude. They're already good in their fundamentals in math. So it's 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 basically it's something that they have done over a period of time. So even such students also crack even without studying. But yes, of course, studying, being well prepared, going through uh, past year's papers, breaking down, creating a strategy for yourself, uh, going through every section. Uh, some sections are easy for you. Some sections you can work upon. Uh, finding all these details is extremely uh, helpful, okay? It is really helpful and it makes a difference. Meaning if you, you do follow a strategy, if you be smart and work hard, even in three months, you can still do really, really well, okay? Three, four months, you can still do, you, you, can, you, can, you can climb the ladder, you can climb the ladder drastically, okay? So um, it is possible. So like I said, have a good strategy, work hard, work smart, okay? Great, now um, let's go to, um, uh, any questions so far? Shall I take questions? Um, Shika, is there any questions that uh, I've missed or something relevant to what I've said so far? I can. Would you like to pick up questions yourself or shall I? Yeah, I mean, okay, let me. Um, so, um, Sartaki, Sartaki, uh, is it okay we can solve MCQ first? Yes, of, uh, sorry, multiple choice, yes. I'm saying it's a strategy. Some students prefer to do NAT and MCQ first and MSQ later. So that's, that is, um, um, that's, that's up to you, but it's recommended, either MCQ or NAT first, okay? Okay. Uh, Okay, where will you get papers from? Okay, so um, Hemalata has asked, where can we get papers from Hemalata? So this is, I will answer your question. Uh, Pragna, Pragna, how many questions will they be in part B? One question, okay, one question for 660 marks, okay. Uh, uh, Vishwant, Vishwant says, I appeared in the exam last year, got around 70, but couldn't get into the IITs. So I've now decided to reappear. Any guidance from your side? Okay, the whole webinar is about the guidance. So just follow up everything. Uh, shlok, shloka, how to prepare GK for UC? Okay, that's a tricky one. Uh, G, yeah, GK is all over the place. So GK, you really have to have a nice strategy. I'll, I'll explain the strategy for GK, okay? Good question, shloka. Uh, how to work on drawing speed, Harshal. Okay, fine. Okay, there's a lot of questions. So let's go one by one. Okay, so the first question I said, I don't know who one of the students asked, where can I get past year's papers? Okay, fine. 
like I said, very important uh, the link. Uh, okay, this link is extremely important. Um, here, can you see downloads, right? You can get all past your papers here. Can you see that? An answer key, right? So you literally go there, you can get all your papers. Another area where you can, I mean, um, DQ Labs is our website in which you can also get a lot of past year's papers. So that's edge.dqlabs.in. If you go to the section under NID, you see it and say past year's papers. So you can get all the past year's papers here as well as with the answers and explanation, as well as you can get them from the uh, official website as well. Okay. So not only you can even get this uh, papers for UC, you can even get the papers for your uh, PG. Okay. PG papers as well. Fine. Just give me a minute. Sorry about that. I'm just sharing my screen once again. Okay, fine. So that's where we were. Okay. Uh, yeah, what were the other? So past year's papers have answered your question. What are the others asking me? Okay, somebody asked me about drawing. Okay. Oh, how to improve? Uh, how to improve your drawing? Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, GK. Okay, so GK questions. Okay, I'll come to that later. All the different where you can get different sources for different things. We'll come to that later. How can you solve part B drawing? We'll come to that as well. Let's continue. So before before we go ahead, I'll just quickly show you examples. So numerical aptitude, uh, numerical answer type questions is like a question shown on the screen that like if you have a set of patterns here, right? How many of these types of leaves that occur only once? So typically, so ideally you have to count. So there's a numerical number and you need to answer the numerical number. Uh, so, sorry, there's a lot of questions out there. What I'll do is I'll finish this fast and then maybe I'll get back to all your questions, okay? Because there's a lot more I need to cover. Otherwise, it'll just go here while. So numerical uh, um, answer is questions like this. Uh, just quick examples. Count the number of cubes, okay? Um, so this this object out here, how many uh, cubes does it contain if, if it was made up of individual cubes? So you need to count that and put that answer there. Or even it can be a mathematical uh, related question, what uh, you see on the screen. It's like maybe age related questions, father and daughter, mother and son whatever age related questions, but with a numerical uh, answer. Okay, so now MSQ, multiple select kind of questions. So multiple select has multiple uh, answers to this. AC or uh, answer could be whatever, multiple, multiple answers. Okay, so this is multiple select type. Um, and you have your MCQ type questions. MCQ, MCQ is just one answer is correct out of this, okay? So a giant creature is walking towards a group of buildings in the city. So which is the correct perspective from the creature's point of view? So this is interesting. This is, this is testing your drawing perspective knowledge through an MCQ, okay? So it's, it's quite an interesting way of, uh, in fact, when UC started FYI, only the last two years had drawing questions. So the way they would test your drawing skill and your creative skill was through these, or rather drawing skill, art skill, was through these type of questions, okay? Converting them into uh, MCQ uh, type of questions. So in the figure given below, which of the options will replace the question mark? Okay, another type of MCQ question. Okay, these are all, now, I also spoke about the syllabus. So visual spatial ability. Um, visual spatial ability is nothing but your ability to see things visually and in your in your mind, you're able to perceive things in 3D, extremely important for designers and architects. 
So typical kind of questions count the number of solids, count the number of surfaces. So visual spatial ability is a very important test for designers and architects. Okay, so you have uh, uh, cubes, sides of cubes, paper folding type of questions. You punch things on paper. Uh, things, objects moved even in 2D, 2D, 3D. Um, these are the kind of questions. Like I showed you where you can get past years papers. Obviously, you can get tons of examples of, of examples from there as well. So you don't uh, need to necessarily, I'm just quickly going through this. Observation and design sensitivity. So they will show you a series of like maybe an animation character and they'll say, okay, your opinion about the pose or things like that. Okay, observation and design sensitivity. Handle of a mug, uh, which would be the correct representation of the handle of the mug. Analytical and logical reasoning, uh, your typical kind of questions, which they ask you for many different types of entrance exams. Um, um, so an example is on the screen. Uh, language and creativity, which of the following words are similar in meaning? Um, there's another one, example for language and creativity. And uh, environmental and social awareness as well, which of the following is or greenhouse gases, or, uh, you know, things like uh, Indian handicrafts, Indian uh, um, 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 performing arts, this or that, or all your GK kind of questions also can come under this section, okay? So that was just a quick uh, browse through to just show you some basic examples. Like I said, you will get tons of examples from the... Uh, from the online papers. Okay, part B. Okay, so any any questions so far? Maybe I can take any questions relation related to what I've done. Um, Chandavar, is it important for your maths to be good? Yes, your basics have to be good, definitely. Hemalatta, what good books are there for preparation? Well, there are a couple of good books, maybe for each section, different things can be good. I've seen uh, Arihant is good for mental ability, aptitude. Uh, GK, somebody asked me a question on general knowledge. General, um, general knowledge, you can take things like a Malayana Manorama or from online or from reading newspapers. Reading newspapers is good because what happens is anything to do with arts, design, performing arts, okay? Like, uh, say, the day, the year Mario Miranda died, Mario Miranda, the cartoonist, uh, a question about him came in the paper. So if a good performing artist or, or something happens, like if you're tracking the news, so newspapers is something when people obviously win medals in Olympics, you can expect a question from that, right? So reading and general knowledge, newspapers is good. Um, Manorama is good. But Please understand, you've got to be smart here, okay? So when I say uh, when I say be smart, I'll tell you what I mean. It's like, um, see, general knowledge, uh, general knowledge is is endless. I mean, you can just go on and on reading, and uh, it's never ending. So what I would recommend is uh, on Edge, that is DQ Labs Edge. Um, we have made a list of. So if you go here, this is this is edge.dqlabs.in. So if you go under the learn section. Um, right. Sorry for interruption, the PPT is visible though. Oh, PPT is visible? One minute, let me share my screen. Okay, can you see my screen, Shika? Yes. Okay, so if you go here on this website, right? Um, student okay general knowledge section okay so can you see general knowledge list of topics down here so this shows a lot of list of topics in which they have all been asked from the past okay indian artists and their works types of indian paintings okay so if you go here all the um all the paintings gk in the past whatever has come for nid and UC is all here. Like I said, GK is a bit tricky. 
Um, so if you follow this backbone structure, as in if you say, okay, these are the topics that I'm going to um, I'm going to study from. It, you can study from anywhere, okay. But as long, like say for example, if you take a Malayalam Manorama, that book is so fat, okay. So, but if you use these as a backbone structure and study only those topics which pertain to this, right, then it is extremely helpful for you, okay. So that is one area in which you can get. Um, uh, of course, DQ Labs also has everything in one uh, space, so it can be helpful for you. So study material, like I said, a couple of books. Uh, also, besides additional books, you can use, like I said, Arihant or even any books pertaining to Mensa, Mensa for IQ tests, as well as for your, uh, as well as for your, uh, uh, what do you call that, uh, NTSC exams, okay? Even any books for NTSC exams also are extremely helpful, okay? So I hope that answers your question. Just give me a minute. Just give me a minute, please. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry to interrupt, Sean. Uh, so uh, I think last last ten minutes uh, remaining for the session. Oh. So, yeah. So uh, I, mean, <laughs> I would just request that you know uh, if we can just take up uh, more questions. So I, uh, yeah, I just have to go through part B quickly. Sure. 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 Okay. Part B. So let's go quickly through part B and realize that um, uh, time goes so fast here. Okay. Part B. So part B. So last year, the question asked was this. Uh, you can see my screen, Shika, the, the PPT? Yeah. OK, so there was a question where you are sitting in a ventilated room. It is 9 o'clock in the morning, and the sunlight is coming through your window on the east, casting shadows on the floor. A cat, a cat is resting on one of the sunlight patches, so newspapers placed uh, a newspaper is placed besides a cup of hot tea on one small side table. There are three freshly watered potted plants in the room, one on the floor and two on the winter sill. And there's a watering jug next to it. Okay, fine. So you got to draw fast. Basically, it's more like a theme sketch where you need to draw your perspective and, you know, you need to draw your interior sketch fast and just throw in all the details. So you should be good at light, shadow, shade, texture, details. And it comes with practice. Okay, I'd like to show you an example. Okay, this student, this student got 56 out of 60. Please remember, this is not her actual sketch. It is a rough sketch. Okay, um, uh, she would have had a lot more detail in her uh, in the actual exam, and the light and everything would have come uh, beautifully. Uh, but after the exam, she redrew it and you're not in the same frame of mind when you're drawing it for the second time. So, so it's quite interesting here. Can you see on the wall, do you notice like there's a child scribbling out there? Can you notice that? Like a small, uh, that's very, that shows creativity, you know? So that means there's a small child in the house who has drawn something on the wall. So there's a lot of detail, very nicely done, uh, beautiful sense of perspective. Uh, can you see some cracks on the wall, lovely detail. So this student um, actually got 56 out of 60 in her drawing, okay? So just to show you an example, like I said, her actual drawing would be a little better than this. This is a quick drawing that she has done after her um, uh, exam, okay? So this that is 2021 paper, and I also wanted to show, okay. So there are certain, in fact, the criteria they will give you in the paper, like say, for example, the evaluation criteria, observation, imagination, selection and composition of objects, quality of line, presentation, attention to detail, okay? And it also will tell you clearly if they're written there, make pencil sketches only, do not use colors, please do not waste your time drawing colors. And they can even give you, uh, this is last year's paper, do not draw Prof Professor Shastri, not last year, previous year, okay? Do not draw Professor Shastri. So this was 2020. 2020 paper. Okay, you all can read the paper, the, what's the question online, but just a quick example of, uh, 
of uh, uh, of what is done. Uh, so Vimal, Vimal, uh, Vimal is said that NID is different. Vimal, your strategy for NID is completely different. Please don't mix up. This is for U seed. Okay, your strategy for U seed is different. Your strategy for NID is different. Okay, uh, it's not the same. So uh, this yes, uh, of course the. The, the, a lot of definitely uh, uh, very common elements, but but NID is a total different structure, especially in terms of drawing and uh, theory and things like that. Even the level of difficulty of theory. Okay, but anyway, uh, shloka manorama consists. Yes, you're right. Manorama consists most of political international uh, policies, but shloka very important. You have to follow the topics that I showed. So, like I said. GK is endless. You got to be smart. It's not like if there are 300 pages, you study all the 300 pages. You need to be smart enough to pick the chapters of what you read. Okay, don't be careful. Um, be careful about that. Okay. Um, yes. So uh, Shika, we'll just go straight into uh, questions. I mean, if there's any question I've missed, you two can pick it up. Um, sure, sure. So actually, there are a lot of questions in the Q and A chat box. So shall I just start picking them one by one? Yeah, sure, sure. In case I've missed any. Yeah, okay. Uh, so um, just so an anonymous attendee asked that are we supposed to color the drawing in part B? No, they have clearly told you do not color the drawing. It's it's clearly mentioned. Say, for example, you will get this in you'll get this note. Uh, if you can see it on my screen, it says like say for example in 2020 it says make a pencil sketch only do not they've said do not use colors so if you use colors you're just going to waste your time okay if they mention use pencils only right uh, apurva patil asked that what about current affairs so i think she means to ask that are there any current affairs based questions as well definitely there are a few current affairs based questions as well that come like uh, if there is some some um, a, a political um, uh, some political issue. I have seen current affairs come in the past, but very few questions, but it does come as well. The answer is yes. So therefore, reading the newspaper does help. I mean, glancing through the newspaper, glancing through news, at least if you do that, you will be able to answer that question. They do ask that as well. Yeah, but very less. It will be more of design related questions like um, um, artists, um, dance forms, musical instruments, uh, audio or like computer related questions, audio visual, photography related questions, color theory and things like that. Okay. Uh, Anirban, they asked that how to manage time during the exam. Okay, so time management is very important. What I would say is first, okay, so yes, yes. So I remember a question somebody asking me, please don't think that you have to answer all the questions, okay? So if you go and sit and answer all the questions, actually it might um, work negative for you, right? So areas which do not have a negative marking, go ahead and you can just put some answer because you've got nothing to lose. You can flag it, uh, all right? So I would say go fast through the paper. There'll be a lot of questions that you would have to, uh, you would know. Um, divide like um, 240, like 240 marks with the time that you have, two and a half hours. Right, follow your own strategy. Each section, so, okay, for example, so if you follow this chart, right, you will see how much of total marks is there for the section. So accordingly, you can give importance. You can, before you go for the exam, you can give importance or you can allocate that I will spend so many maximum, so many minutes per, um, question, but I would say go two or three runs. That would mean the first go fast, answer all the questions you know, right? If you if you are in doubt, flag it. If you are, um, if flag it and if you kind of know the answer, you are able to estimate or like, you know, narrow it down to two, at least mark an answer there also if you can. It's, it's worth taking that risk sometimes. But um, uh, um, if you're finding it a tough question, don't waste your time. Just jump to the next question, okay? Because like I showed you that even if you cross 112, even if you cross 120, you still have a good chance, okay? So so don't waste too much of time. Yes, next yeah. question. Uh, Kubir Budhija asked that, is J main paper 2 also helpful for seed? J main paper 2 for architecture. Uh, uh, 
Um, well, yes, in terms of aptitude, in fact, if you're studying for any JE paper, right, the aptitude, it does help you because all the aptitude questions, it will help you. But visual spatial ability, design sense and GK, uh, you will have to study extra. The, yes, definitely there's a small element, all your math and basic fundamentals will help you for sure. Uh, but you have to put an extra effort, right? And and yes, so far, at least for UC year one and year two, they have asked perspective related questions, so it will help you. Whereas if you go to NID, they ask you also a lot of more creative thinking questions and 2D graphic kind of questions. But the answer is yes, it will partially help you, but you will need a lot more uh, effort, okay? Right. And even um, for part B, if you want more, uh, what do you say, examples, you can also get it from this website, DQ Labs website. You can go here. Uh, say, for example, UC 2021. You can. We have like a subjective evaluation evaluating tool. If you go under sketching, so all the students' um, papers will be down there, right? And and you can uh, you can select and choose. Yeah. Next question. So there's an anonymous attendee who asked that: Will we get the paper for rough work calculations in Part A? You will get, you will get, it is there in your booklet where you will get a section for uh, rough work, yes. But it will go along with your booklet. Right. Uh, what topics are important for drawing? Apurva Patil asks. Okay, so if it is drawing, what I would suggest is first, first and foremost, you should be extremely good at your perspective, okay? Perspective. Keep this in mind, perspective will help tremendously, okay? Um, because you'll be able to draw quick exteriors and interior sketches really fast. So perspective, humans in perspective, animals, uh, light, I've noticed for both the years, light, shade, shadow, texture, observation, and detail, okay? All these things need to go in, and um, um, that has to go in, basically. So uh, there's an anonymous attendee who asks that uh, are class 12th board exams, uh, class 12th board marks also important for you see? Good question. No, absolutely not. You can just scrape through minimum marks and you can smash the UC exam. At the same time, you can get 99 in your boards, but you need not pass the UC exam. Interesting. Right. Uh, Ritika Nair asks that what topics should I study for NAT? For NAT. NAT, yeah. Oh, there's a whole lot of topics. That's a huge question. In fact, that is a webinar by itself. Okay, what topics to study? What are the details? Uh, I would recommend going through past years. Either if you're studying yourself, go through past years papers. You need to study and figure out yourself. Um, I've given you a couple of resource material. Uh, if not, it would also like say, for example, a website like this where you go and it's all here for you, which is researched and done here for you, right? But to find them all in one place is difficult. Either you have to have multiple books, multiple resources and reference material, but please keep, whatever you do, keep your base reference as your past year's papers, right? And you must understand. See, you must understand, you gotta be smart. You got to go through the past year's papers and you yourself need to, you need to do some hard work, okay? And figure out what is what. But the our, our, um, our website here will help you in one place. Yeah, sorry, next question. Yeah, uh, so Nupur Kapoor asks that uh, if if we choose two options, but there are three correct ones, uh, will we get marks for that question? I think she's talking about MSQ section. Okay, you can go here under the information brochure. It actually details um, on the evaluation criteria, right? It will tell you exactly, say if you go here, go here, go to evaluation, right? It will tell you exactly how uh, it's the marks are given, right? So you can go to this brochure and you can find out all information in detail about how marks are given for the MSQ section. Yeah. Okay, uh, so uh, while we are over time, uh, uh, I'll, I'll be asking a few more questions. Uh, till then, uh, uh, guys, there's a feedback form that we would like to like you to fill. Uh, Tipan, can you just roll out the poll? Uh, Till the time we are answering, uh, you know, uh, Sean is answering more questions. I would request all the participants to please fill this poll. And, uh, you know, this is just a feedback form, a quick feedback form that will help us know that, uh, you know, how did we do in this session? Is there any scope of improvement? What can we improve, uh, you know, for the next session? So it's just a quick feedback form. 
um till then i'll just take quickly take uh, shon two three more questions so, sure uh, so joan gb uh, you know he asked that can you suggest a strategy to start preparing and also for how many hours should i put in each day the answer is as many hours as possible uh, because now when you're going towards the exam it's like you know you will give um you will give um more importance to the uc and lesser to your boards it's strategy okay you need to it's a balancing act so more more importance to uc less important to the board because after january you're free right put in as much hours as you can drawing i would say right now minimum two and a half hours and uh, two hours of drawing a day and theory at least two hours so if you put in four hours i'm saying basic and if you have holidays saturday sunday and all that even if you can go up to six hours eight hours a day nothing like it at this point of time right so if you do that nothing like it you can still smash but you've got to be persistent you've got to be consistent and it will help you right uh, there's an anonymous attendee here uh, who asked that what are the what are the most important topics to study study basically what type of questions are most commonly asked oh uh that's a, that's a long that's a long question i mean <laughs> just i would say go through this webinar again and go through all the questions that that's a very long question uh, there's uh, also know. a popular question popping up uh, and i think the answer would be long again but still i'll pose if in case you wish to answer uh, students are asking the three months preparation strategy for you see okay fine i'll give you a three months preparation strategy uh, number 1 past year's papers start off with past year's papers both you see and see ensure that you do a at least one paper once in 10 days okay um so number 2 actually make notes on the kind of questions being asked make notes on the area, the topics you're strong at topics you're weak at okay the topics you're strong at you can strengthen it topics you're weak at in that there'll be two categories some are very difficult for you and some at least you're making silly mistakes so the areas you're making silly mistakes work on that and improvise that strengthen that okay you let, remember you don't have to be good in all topics like i said if you even cross 120 out of 240 at least 130 you still have a very good chance okay um it's a marathon you need to run over and over again uh and uh, the more you run the more stamina you get uh, the more speed you develop is going to be helpful okay uh some there are a lot of websites and reference material that you can take use them right and uh, it will be helpful it will help you saving time searching from all over the place okay right so shon alvin and and drawing you. drawing like i said practice perspective humans humans in perspective objects in perspective animals light shade shadow practice it will be extremely helpful yeah Okay, so Sean, so I'll be taking the last question for the evening, and it's also a popular question. Many students are asking that: Do they need to have any portfolio for admissions final? Malab, no, no portfolio. No portfolio for IITs and Triple IIT Jabalpur. Whereas, whereas for the participating institutes, they might ask you for a portfolio. Right. But for IITs, and it's just the UC exam. You're done with the exam. You're ranked. That's it. NID can ask you for your portfolio. It depends from year to year. Last two, last year they have had asked. A couple of years they have not asked. That will be a different webinar by itself. Participating institutes are private institutes. They can ask. So, but for IIT and Triple IIT Jabalpur, no. Right. Okay. So I think uh, with this we come to an end uh, to the webinar. And uh, thank you so much, Sean. for taking time out uh, and it was a very wonderful session i think students enjoyed a lot and it was a very insightful session indeed so thank you so much uh, you're welcome uh, also you students you can get a lot of reference sketches here for the past year's questions from the same website if you like okay fine and there's a lot of free access to it so you can get that and get a lot of free access okay thank you shikha thank you for having us and uh, having me and our team and thank you very much thank you so much in case any uh, student has not taken the poll i would again uh, request please take up the poll uh, you know it's it's a good motivation factor for us to and so that it will just you know uh, motivate us to uh, bring forth more sessions like this to you, like these to you in future so in case anybody has not taken up the poll i would sincerely request and like if i my name is shawn disa you said disosa in the beginning yeah so yeah disa is different from disosa it's close but a little different
Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Sean. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Okay. Yeah. Uh...